Look, there's a little ink. I won't be here for another year. You'll have me on your tree, but I won't be here for ye. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. It is recording already. I was going to zoom in and look. <laughs> you chose not to. You know, I still need to buy me one of those, uh, like I said, like in the, like the movies, you know? <coughs> I got an idea. You can always make one out of paper and cardboard. And you, you just add a snap in. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, marker. How? I know that was loud. <laughs> Gosh, man. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to our next episode oh, of the podcast. Right. Oh, man, I can't keep us. <laughs> and <laughs> as wow. the Nintendo turns. <laughs> as the Nintendo world turns. This just in. What's that? just in? really sucks uh hello everybody this is jamie along with Mega Man dust bringing you our next uh podcast uh big news this week um so apparently um iwata came out yesterday uh saying that uh, the next zelda game is postponed i heard about that via yeah. you <laughs> by me yes yeah the game's gonna be postponed until next year approximately um the official word for uh, for it was uh, he was basically claimed that uh, because you know during the developing development they saw that uh, you know there was a lot of uh, potential to the game and that they could do more with it so they decided to actually just you know instead of focusing on meeting a dead uh, time a deadline they just decided to focus more on uh, expanding the game as much as possible to you know to I guess to take advantage of the Wii U and what the what it could Ooh. offer. Your thoughts on that? Right off the bat, I, I don't like it. This game, you know, has been in development since the Wii U was in development, okay? <clears throat> they knew what was going on, and they knew ahead of time what their game was going to be. It roughly, you know, it's release time. To overshoot by about a year's time, because Zelda games don't typically release, you know, in January, they don't release no, they don't. in the summer. Well, so if, it, it's, if it's postponed, it's not going to release until... The holiday 2016. Mm -hmm. That makes me really mad. I was so pumped for a Zelda game this year. Yes. Uh, but I'm wondering, uh, this is probably like me being like conspiratorial, if it has something to do with other Nintendo plans that are coming to be. And I'm wondering if they're like, DNA's like, yo, we could do some in app things for this. Maybe they're trying to find some other more modern gaming mechanics, like charging us for shit we don't really want. I know exactly. Um, I do agree with the fact that um, you know they've been you know, like you mentioned. I mean, when the Wii U was released, uh, Zelda was supposed to be a, not a launch title, but it was supposed to be a first year title. You know, it was the the, the, the Wii U was supposed to release you know one November. The following November uh, is when this, the Zelda title was supposed to come out, and as we know, it didn't. And what did they do? They released Wind Waker remade to. Uh, made up for that lack of the Zelda U. The Zelda U was originally intended to be a contender to uh, compete against the release of the Xbox One and the PS4. Yeah. Which, if it had been the case, it would have been an awesome... Uh, it it would have put the, the, the Wii U up in the map up against those two on release years. Yeah. 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 Then, you know, like I said, they released Wind Waker. They gave us the thing that they just couldn't, you know, they didn't finish. And now this, you know. It's been two years since that. Um... Is it two years? No. Anyway, it's been a while since since that happened, and now we have uh, one year actually, um, and now we have that uh, they give us the cockamania that yeah they they they, they want to expand it as much as possible. Let's say that for all intents and purposes, that is true that they're expanding. I mean, like you said, they they should have known about this from the very get go, you know, and they knew about it. To me, it seems more plausible, like you said, you know, with the new uh, with the new venture between DNA and Nintendo, or even the the new NX. Yeah. I mean, if they they're gonna announce the next NX and and um and um <clears throat> excuse me um next year, who knows? What if they actually gonna release the NX next 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 year? You know, or even the following year. So there, to me, it seems like a. It's more plausible, like a, maybe like a farewell, a send off to the Wii U, just like the Twilight Princess was for the Wii. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like you know, like you said, Zelda traditionally is in, on console is not released until November. 
Yeah, handhelds do get released uh, in the spring. Consoles, they get released in, sep in September or November. No, through November in the fall. <laughs> Late summer or fall. So I don't really believe that uh, they're just exploring more. I think they just uh, buy in time to match whatever event, whatever plans they have for 2016, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. to uh, uh, send off the Wii U with a bang or, like you said, uh, maybe uh, some deal with DNA. And um, No, I don't doubt they're going to use this time to polish the game. Oh, well, yeah. Final Nintendo games actually have been polished, sure. But I have a feeling there's something else behind the scenes, like you're saying, the NX. Uh, we talked about it's probably not going to release. If, if it's 2016 at all, it's going to be late, very late, mm -hmm. and it's probably more like a 2017 yeah. release, I'm guessing. But this gives them time to work on it and maybe get a closer launch time for both of those two titles instead of having to remake a port. I don't know. It's just, it's just thought. It just seems rather kind of sudden, uh, especially on the heels of this latest information we got about the DNA thing, about Nintendo Next. Oh, yeah. No, just the mention of it. Well, the, the, the way I see it is this, okay? <coughs> if the, 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 the Zelda Wii U gets released in uh, winter or fall, you know, like uh, like in the first in the first two, two quarters of the year, mm -hmm. then yes, it's going to be, um, it was because they were polishing it, you know, they were expanding the game and trying to do as much as they could. If it gets released in the second, in the third or fourth quarter of the year, it was just a, it was just a buying time. And I honestly don't think it's going to be released in the first half of the year, only because uh, there is also, um, apparently also Anuma said that, uh, they're not showing anything on the seller game on at E3. Okay. So let's put this with it. This last freaking check is <laughs> circling around. So let's put this way, you know. Let's see the you know, seeing prior E3s. When they only, when they show the, the a seller game just like a few hints, the, the following E3 or the or the E three prior, you know, ready for launch, the they show reveal. a whole bunch. Yeah. You know? So them not showing anything this year means that they're gonna go full on on the next Zelda game on E3 2016, which means in turn that the game is not gonna be released until the second half of the year, most likely in November to compete, you know, to set it up for the holiday season. Yeah, that sounds the most reasonable, which infuriates me. Yes, I, I really think they should have released some other details. This is a this is a crushing blow, no matter who you are, if you're a Nintendo fan. Because we all play these games for Nintendo, or for Mario, and for Zelda. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm here for Metroid as well, but apparently Nintendo's like, screw Metroid. Um, you got, you haven't even really, to me, you haven't really got a proper Mario game yet for yeah. for the Wii U. You've got Super Super Mario Brothers, you know, like, knockoffs and things like that. But not, not your true 3D, in for me, in your true 3D Galaxy or Mario 64 Mario yet. Yeah. You've yet to receive a Zelda, and the console's how old? Two, three, yeah, years? three years? Three years old? Yeah. None of the major IP... Donkey Kong's had one. I consider him a major Donkey, uh, major Nintendo IP. But he's like... He's kind of... Of their top guys, he's kind of down towards the bottom, right? So you really haven't had, as a Wii U owner, uh, anything that's not a remake, a, a top-tier Nintendo product. Yeah. What you come to the console for. Yeah, and even, and even the the, the, uh, the next Mario has already been said that uh, it's not going to be released for the Wii U. The next Mario is going to be release for next console so they're already abandoning the console little by little i honestly it's, it's just it's just too too hard to believe that they are polishing that the, the, this delay for Zelda is only about polishing the game because it came right on the heels of that um of that announcement of the of the nx mm -hmm. and that deal with 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 dna you know if that deal what had not been announced just you know not, not two weeks ago then I would believe, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, they're trying to polish it, you know, they, it's a legit, um, 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 you know, delay, like, like with, with Pikmin, mm -hmm. you know, but it's just too close to that announcement for them to, to, to come up with this, and, <clears throat> and especially with, uh, <coughs> you know, in the Games Awards, that was just three months ago, yeah, so they can't, you know, Anuma has had so much experience with Zelda, he cannot tell me that he did not know that he was going to have the game ready by then. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, they knew they were gonna have it ready, and yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just I find it too hard to believe that uh, that uh, fucking chair. <laughs> I just find it too hard to believe that uh, it's just a positive thing, and when in reality it's more of a of a, um, a strategy to buy time to uh, line it up with whatever announcement they're gonna they're gonna have. Because I mean, let's face it, uh, even if the NX 
doesn't come into uh, doesn't get released until 2017, which will, will be the the most feasible date because you know usually some a console, a console gets announced the first E3, the Palm E3 is 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 fully shown or it's, or you know all the potential and whatever stuff might be, and then that 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 Christmas gets released. Yes, for so yeah. So this is the way I see it. This E3 they're gonna announce the NX. Fall NX E3, you know, 2016, they're gonna show us, show us everything they have, and then they're gonna release it on, you know, on 20, on 27, 27, uh, 2016, uh, 2017, I think. I think it's gonna be released in 2017. The moment they, they, they're waiting for Zelda because since Zelda is the biggest, I mean, Mario, yeah, sure, Mario is the biggest icon, but but when it comes to to games, Zelda is the big. Uh, appeal yeah, so, for, yeah. for 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 consoles, so they're they're pushing it back because the moment they announce the NX, sales on the already uh, hard to sell Wii U are gonna really uh, just hit rock bottom, you know, because people are gonna be waiting for the next thing, just the same way, the same way they happened with the 3DS and the new 3DS. You know, when the 3DS the new 3DS was announced, I mean the sales of the 3DS just completely just uh, when. Uh, just declined considerably because people were waiting for the new 3DS. Yeah, and that's the same thing is going to happen with the Wii U and the NX. If the NX is a, is the next the next console, the 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 few cells that we use having they're going to go down in favor of people waiting for the NX, and that's why they're waiting. Um, uh, with um, they're waiting um, to release Zelda the next year to kind of squeeze more life out of the Wii U, so that with the following year. The NX will come into play, and that way will, uh, you know, they they, they, they they have a viable console for at least one more year. Because Zelda is, to me, Zelda is the only way, the only game that can actually give uh, a console uh, still a, vi a viable see, extra year. Now, from a marketing standpoint, to me, the Wii U, uh, in terms of sales wise, is dead. Zelda is gonna, I'm guessing, it's gonna sell. It's gonna sell it to the main Nintendo crowd, and it might sell a few more consoles. Mm -hmm. But everyone, to me, that has a Wii U console, is the market that's gonna buy a Zelda game, right? Yeah. If they were smart in terms of like only money, they would hold this off and again, do, best case scenario, do what they did with GameCube and the Wii U and do a and simultaneous do a, release. Do a release. But if they were really cheeky, and I'd hate them for it, <laughs> they would say, you know what? Um, we realize our vision for this game has grown so exponentially. And to really fully realize it and this world we put together and to not sh you know, short the customer, we're putting the experience on the Nintendo NX where it's going to be the best game in the whole wide world. It's going to, it's going to shit Mario coins, right? Yeah. And they're going to be, they're, and they will sell so many to get jumpstart their sales for that new NX console. See, this whole thing has me really, really upset because I'm, I guess, I'm not a hardcore Nintendo fan, I guess. I, kinda, I feel sad saying it out loud. <laughs> I really do, like, realize that. Like, I'm not! But I've been a Nintendo gamer my whole gaming life. That's where I started. That's why I have a Wii U. And for me, I have maybe five games. Like, some games I like, but I don't have any Nintendo games that I haven't played before. That are like, okay, wow, these are experiences or reasons for me to have the console. I really feel like Nintendo took 350 bucks from my pocket and just slapped me in the face. Because I'm not seeing much coming to this console in the next year... Maybe there's now. I think maybe there's going to be a Star Fox. Maybe they're going to hold that back too. I, know, that's I don't thing. know. Yeah, because now you know now they're delaying that one. I mean, what's going to happen with Star Fox? I mean, at least with Zelda, they were showing more. Star Fox, we haven't just seen a, a tiny little glimpse of Miyamoto just just showing some some of the, the the motion controls for it, but that's about it, and nothing else has been said about it. Mm -hmm. So they have a game that they have shown more consistently versus a game that they barely. Just mm -hmm. really mention it, and they haven't even so. mentioned my favorite franchise, Metroid. Yeah, which means that it's not coming to Wii U at all. If it's coming anytime, it's going to come to this the, this next console. It just really has me as, as as a consumer of Nintendo products, not the Wii U, their ho their home consoles, a little bit salty. And yeah, by a little yeah. bit, I mean a lot. Yeah, I mean, a whole and, lot. And you might love Mario and everything, and yeah, this this uh, the uh, the cat Mario. Well, I forgot the name of it. Um, Super Mario World, you know, might have been... A, it's, it's a really good Mario game. Oh, yeah. But it's not the... You know, it's the whole multiplayer thing. And yes, it can be played single player. But the whole multiplayer thing, it's just, it just wasn't... I mean, it was it was fun. It's a really good game. But it's not... To me, it's not a true, true um, it, it didn't game. have the story or feel of Galaxy or 64 yeah, exactly. or Sunshine. That's why there's, there, there's no third-person Mario platformer in that vein... Mm -hmm. 
uh, Nintendo console on, on the Wii U right now. Yeah. I don't know what this console is at this point. Yeah. A game for, it's a console for indie games. And I can get that, honestly, somewhere else. Boo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, anything else you want to rent about? <laughs> this has no. become more of a pod rant than Nintendo, a podcast. Nintendo, fix your shit. <laughs> I'm tired of having to rely on Xbox One and PC for, for awesome games. They do have awesome games, but you have better games. Show them to me. Do it now. Just even hint at it. Show me some actual hints. Something, anything. Show me some playable Zelda, I mean, some playable Metroid. Come on. Cut a brother a break. I bought your console. <laughs> I traded in my gamepad. I, I bought a Zelda console, by the way. I want Zelda. Give it to me. Not to Ganon. Not to To me. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Dude, I can't find the game I'm, I'm rambling now, but I'm just, you know. The more I talk about it, the more heated I get. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Anyway, so, while well, he was rambling about it. <clears throat> so, this is what we want, Nintendo, okay? We want the next Zelda, okay? Freaking. But no damn waggle controls! Freaking chairs keep spinning around on me. You know? Uh, Next, a, a real Mario game like Galaxy 2 was. Galaxy 2 was awesome. I really oh, loved yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe a Mario with freaking a story. Freaking Animal Crossing, man. For the Wii U. That'd be so, tight. That would be so freaking awesome, Animal Crossing. I mean, freaking Animal Crossing <laughs> begs to be made in the Wii U because of the touchpad and be able to just have your menus underneath. And, you know, just like in the 3DS version, I mean, it's just this game is made for the Wii U. Man, the Wii U was made for this game right here, right? Metroid, I don't care, you know, he hates Other M, however, that's, you know, 50% of people out there ha hate Other M, 50% of us love it. Portray it it's correctly, still... I like Metroid <clears throat> Other M as a game, I don't like it as a Metroid game. Anyway, the next Metroid game, you know, I don't care if it's uh, a side-scrolling uh, 3D uh, 2.5 like, like Other M was, or, what is your thing out there, anyway, or a freaking first-person shooter, like, uh, adventure, like, like the Prime series, dude. Make a make a freaking um, a remake of uh, of uh, Prime Hunters. That game begs to be remade. You know that was an awesome underrated game for the three D for the DS. You know, or you know, I mean. So what do you guys think? You know, I mean, has Nintendo really made it for you? I mean, we, the, the the Wii U is what two and a half years years old now. You know, it's, it's going in its, in its third year. Is it really? Um, you know, has really fulfilled its promise that as a, as a Nintendo console, you know, when you, you know, like like the GameCube did, the N64, the Super Nintendo did, the Wii U did, yeah, or, no. you know, or do you feel that still, you know, that you've been left out on the call, you know, just dry there, like uh, hanging, you know, hanging dry like a piece of laundry, you know? Do you think the next uh, Zelda game is going to be a nice standalone game for the Wii U, or is it going to be a dual release like the Twilight Princess was for the GameCube and the Wii U, I mean the Wii? I don't know. Xbox One has Halo 5 coming out. Is it this year? I think it's this year for the Xbox. How long has the Xbox been out? Xbox One. One year. About a year, right? A year in, and their star <laughs> the franchise. Xbox is just listening to you. Thank you, Xbox. A year in, and whether that game is good or not, not an issue, right? They're going to have their star franchise on the console. Well, PS4. You gotta consider that Xbox. That's really that's all they have. You know, Halo. Screw that. It's their star <laughs> franchise. But this Nintendo is the only should franchise. Have, Nintendo should have opened within a year's time with Mario or Zelda. This Donkey Kong game we got didn't really count, in my opinion. But you I, may I, disagree. I, I, you I may think disagree. Donkey Kong didn't count only because it was released too close to. Uh, Donkey Kong Country uh, Returns. Yes, yes. You know, it was only, what, two uh, year and a half apart? Mm -hmm. You know? So having so fresh in our minds, Donkey Kong um, Country uh, Returns, and then coming out with, uh, with, um, with, a, with um, what's it called, a freeze. Tropical Freeze. Oh, yeah, Tropical Freeze. It was just too close, you know? It almost, it almost, it, it almost suffered from the, from the Call of Duty effect that it was just another, you know. And they look this and beautiful another. games, but they look so similar. Yeah. And, and yeah, but anyway, that's a topic for a different for a different um, podcast. But um, yeah, just let us know in the comments below what you think. I mean, you know, um, are you mad is, like is me? This, is, yeah, I, you know, you upset? Are you you know? Do you feel? I mean, do you do you feel that is that is uh, delay is justifiable, or do you do you feel that they just uh, buying time to just squeeze more time out of the poor Wii U, who has very uh, little time left in its life cycle? 
let us know in the comment below what you think um, hit the share like and share uh, share like and subscribe buttons please and the most importantly thank you for watching this Adios. was Jamie along with Mega Man pissed off dust wishing you a great day and again thank you for watching our podcasts are becoming a little bit more popular with, uh, uh, with each episode and, I got, and I'm really thankful for that and until next uh, podcast we are signing off Arrivederci. Aloha.